Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, welcome to Arcadium, Mr. Shoto's All Day. Good Let to be me here. Uh, shake your hand, of course. Yeah. Oh, God, that hurt. Okay. So, um, <laughs> we're going to do a little, uh, little interview. Um, and by the way, first, I want to thank you for uh, no problem, stopping Don't by. Yeah, yeah. So, let's go right into it. Um, All right. Super Turbo. Yeah. What was your first experience with Super Turbo? My first experience was online, you know. I'm very, I mean, I'm a, come from an online background, and I just started playing, and All right. Started getting more into it, and like it was a fun game, you know. And just one thing led to another, and you know, it's like there's tournaments where by where you live, you might as well show up. Oh shit! And just started, you know. But yeah, just yeah. L let me back up though. When yeah. you say online, are you talking about HDR on consoles? Or are you talking about GGPO? GGPO and HDR. Really? Really got so me. So you into play those yeah. both of them like simultaneously more or yeah, less. Yeah, yeah. I played okay. them simultaneously, and then um, you know, I, I I played on GGPO for a long time, and I only recently stopped playing because my computer like I messed up. So I play a lot of games on GGP. I mean, a lot. Like you can ask all the regulars, like DJ for Holis, and you know. Okay. All those guys know me on there, and you know? I was a, I was a regular to say the least. And <laughs> so so then, how was your transition going from GGPO, which we yeah. all know is very oh, yeah, different, yeah. to so, so it's another thing. Like this will be like a endless debate, just with the, you know, character rankings. People will always debate like how close or not close online and offline is. Is like does online right. count? You know, people will have different opinions, of course. And like my opinion personally is that. I mean, you can't really say otherwise. Like factually, it's it's different offline. Like the game is different, the version is different. Mm -hmm. I mean, regardless of lag, it's, the version is different. Like it's a uh, it's an emulated version on GGPO. I think that's the main difference. So even right. if we were to play that offline, it would feel really different. So you'd say that the most important factor is not even the lag yeah. and the timing. It's really that Probably. it's a different version. Yeah, it's a different version, and that's I mean, you can tell with like the sprites and the, the hitboxes, everything's a little off. Okay. You know, so. But in terms of the one thing it's good for is just getting a general idea of like your matchup strategy. That's the one thing it's good for, you know, a general idea. Okay. So so how how well did you fare when you went offline and you played at the arcades? Did you just I would, pick it up right away? I would do better in uh, online, you know. I was, I mean, I, I probably still today I'm a better online player, you know, just because I played a lot more matches online. Okay. But then the question is, is like, is my performance worse because I'm, you know, nervous in tournaments? Is it worse because it's offline? So right, it's, it's, all those factors. So there's all these factors that you could, you know, argue what happens. So okay. So then, but but you you quickly picked it up, and then because everyone, uh, you know, from what I've heard of you, is that just you just appeared on the yeah. ST scene, and all of a sudden you're just boom, <laughs> you're up there, you know, winning tournaments. So so that's basically the answer to this. You started online. You've got all the fundamentals. And yeah. then it was easy for you to just switch over um, to offline, and you yeah. uh, it probably took you a little while to to get used to it. But after that, I mean, cool. the first tournament I entered, uh, I, I won that one, and that was like so. That's a good comparison of like online to offline, and right. th another thing has to be said. That was also on a uh, what's it, super gun. So I feel more comfortable because I'm used to the arcade in my lap, you know. So I was more comfortable oh, with that. Oh, I see what you're saying. So it might have been different if it was on a cabinet, you know. Right. And then like, you know, like uh, the tournaments after that, I I didn't do as well as I did, you know, the first one and. It just made me like, uh, but but you made a big splash, and that was all that mattered. Maybe maybe it made me like interested in being part of the offline scene and like playing, you know, good players and things like that. You know. Of course, the question is why Super Turbo? Why not all the other countless games? Mm -hmm. I mean, you could be playing Injustice yeah. right now, for all I know. Well, um, I mean, I'm a, I'm a busy guy for one, so I don't have time to like learn, uh, you know, Street Fighter Four. Okay. I guess if I really wanted to, I could. But at this point in my life, it's like it's the game I play. You know. And it fits well with my schedule, and like it's fun enough to for me to keep playing it. That's a simple answer. Okay, so it wasn't like where it wasn't like a nostalgic thing per se. Where in oh the 90s no, no, you, no 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 like have you did you ever play it in the arcades or no. on the Super Nintendo? I mean, I was probably like, like every other kid who like touched it as a kid, you know. But I never played it, you know. Like, like seriously. Yeah, to the point where I probably couldn't. I don't think I could fireball. It's like when it was in the, in the nineties. Oh know? wow! It took me to was my first fireball was definitely in the two thousand later. Oh I wow! Can safely say that. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got one more. New, yeah. so, so you're so you're a new new school player. Yeah. Right. You right. Know, I mean, of course. That that's impressive though. That you that you you just you, you came in and you you just you, you picked it up so quickly and. Uh, oh, but I've also had experience like playing against you know like Afro and I would play a lot on GGPO. You know. So you had that very high level uh, of, of practice. Though. Of practice. It's not, it's, not, it's not like I just didn't play good players and like you know and even DGV like for example. Um, the first tournament I was in, it was me versus GGV in the finals. Okay. And I just played a long set with him on GGPO the, the night before, and oh, I, so I applied the exact that. same. I applied the exact same tactic. So it's you know I have a, even though I only played online, it's like I come from somewhere. I feel like you know. And that is awesome. Yeah.
That's... I, 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 I like that you said that, that you, you played the night before versus the same guy, DGV, <laughs> exactly, or uh, yeah. Dark Iden. You played like 100 games, too. It's right. like, it's funny, man. So like, you guys had that, uh, you guys knew each other's game style at that and, point. And not only that, but it really did turn out, like, um, it, I saw a lot of similarities from the, you know, our online set, so... Right, and that and that it's good. And it's good for getting a feel of your opponent, you know. Right, and I, I so had you, a lot of experience. You took in that. that online experience and exactly. you applied it to the offline experience. Yeah, and another example is, uh, right. you know, DJ for Holus is a is a um, another player, Hawk player. He's right. on GGPO a lot. Badass. And he's yeah, he's really good. And I I played him so much, and I I applied those same tactics to a dangerous paper cut offline, you know. So oh, I mean, so that that helped you yeah, playing free holes exactly. helped you against pa paper cut. Yeah, yeah. Nice. And you know, and there's just there was this uh, DJ named Hazi. And you know I don't play any anymore. But when I was like, he helped me. Uh, you know, he's a Japanese player. He's a Japanese uh, DJ player, really good. And you know, he'll prepare you for Afro if if you uh, play someone like him. So and he's online a lot. There's always good enough players who can prepare you for. Uh, you know, your opponent you might face o offline. So very cool. That's why I think it's good to play online for that reason. Well, I'm I'm glad that you said that because uh, there's that debate online offline. Some people say, yeah, forget about online. Uh, some people say no, and I'm, I'm glad that you, you came with that that opinion because uh, that, that's valuable. Papasi is like seen me in real life, and he doesn't even know it's me. He says. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so moving on. Uh, so you pretty much answered the question. Other fighting games? Yeah. No, you're busy guy. This is your game. You love. I this played game. Killer Instinct as a kid, but I don't have, I don't play that anymore. So yeah, good, good pretty music much, in that uh, game. I play Hyper Fighter. Too. I'm a I'm a loyal. If there was more Hyper Fighter tournaments, I'd enter it in a heartbeat because it's it, in my opinion it's like the best. Uh, it's even more fun than ST, but really, yeah, right. in my opinion, but yeah. All right. Okay, so we got we got one more one more person for uh, for Hyper Fighter. Yeah, All right, we we got to keep track of this. <laughs> um, let's see what we got here. Uh, you're obviously going to Evo. Yeah, this year. going to Evo, and it's gonna be fun time. I mean, aside from that, it's it's Vegas. You know, they have like the best clubs, best. So the, you're the not just the, going. Oh for no, I mean, <laughs> absolutely not. I mean, come on now. The clubs the clubs like close to the five. You know, five a.m. It's uh -huh. like you can just. Drink on the street? Are you kidding me? So you're just gonna, why would I go? You're just, just gonna tournament? drink. You're gonna party. I'm not gonna be like gonna yeah, show I mean, up, do the tournament, win, and then just go back to. I definitely won't be the guy who's if there is a guy who'll be like, okay, this is serious. I'm in <laughs> Evo right now. Like, I can't drink. I can't can't party. I have to get a good night's rest for the tournament because it's important, you know. So you you and paper cut will probably be partying it up then. We probably do. We probably be so messed up that we would <laughs> probably do poor in the tournament, poorly in the tournament because we'll be inebriated or something like that. That that's good to know. That's good to know. So it's fair warning to people. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so you, we're, we're we're talking earlier um, about good good uh, good advice, Kropi. <laughs> Kropi says in the in chat room, save the celebration party until after the tournament. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. So um, so we were talking er earlier about why you feel Super Turbo is still relevant. It's oh such yeah. an old game. I mean, it's relevant in the sense that people obviously played today. There's you know the Super Turbo, the guy he uh, he uploads like new videos of Japanese pros like playing. You know the are you talking about the games? Spot yeah, game is? spots, yeah, or like, okay. you know, so people, li literally, it's like, it is alive, you know, and if you ask me why, why I think it is, it's because of the, uh, the replay value, you know, there's okay. so many, I really think that it's because it's a game that's like heavy on execution, and I think that when people lose, I really think that they feel in their hearts that like they could have done something differently to, you know, win the match, and that keeps driving people back to like keep playing, I feel like, okay. because it's, you know, um, people always find flaws in their matches, and they always want to improve upon it, and it's, uh, and like such a small improvement can make such a big difference in a game like this. Yeah, and like, and, and like you said, you could play a hundred games, and exactly. it's, you're, you don't get tired of it. A lot exactly. of other games, you, know, you just get bored. Yeah, exactly. It's so, I don't know what it, what it is about it, but it's you see the same things over and over again. You right. see like the same three combos, the same, but it's still exciting to this day. And like, and then um, you you're saying that there was an, the element of luck that also makes it. Yeah, uh, there is there is an element of luck, you know, combined with skill. I feel in this game, and like all you can do in ST is control like what's in your court. So, because like you know, it's such a, like a volatile game. You want to do everything you can to like make yourself the best player, and that obviously keeps people hungry and like wanting to improve. You know, right, right, right. On various parts of the game. We can talk about the ranking chart that just came out uh, okay, at yeah. strevival.com if you want to. Are are you part of that ranking chart? Yeah, I, I think I ranked uh, Oken, okay. Oryu, and uh, Osagat. So you can see the rankings. There uh, are yeah, those the rankings. Well, you are showed us all day, so that yeah. obviously those are your mains. Yeah. Okay, so right. yeah, I got Kropi asked me to give rankings for those and. Uh, a lot of hard work went into that. Oh, a lot honestly. of hard. He did a wonderful job. I mean, the chart looks great, and the players he asked, it's like pretty thorough. You know, he asked the top Japanese players and the top U.S. players, and it's just a great overall effort by Kropi. You know, he's a man. Are we watching one of your matches right now? By the way, I guess so. I mean, you showed us all day, old Saget versus uh, Alex Valle. Uh, El Trouble. Where, where's this from? Oh, this is Wednesday Night Fights. Oh, very cool. Very cool. 
Well, I want to thank you for coming in. I know you. Uh, I know you don't have a lot of time, so I want to thank you again for coming right. in and uh, answering questions. And uh, if anyone in um, if anyone in the chat room has any relevant questions, um, <laughs> <laughs> do bring them up. But if not, <laughs> all right. Nice. So <laughs> we'll just end it here. All right. Oh, character tutorial or what? We're going to do character tutorial. Cool. We're going to take a quick break. All right. And then um, El Trouble's going to come in. And um, can, can you stay a little bit for the character? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, wanted, I definitely okay. want to stay for this. Very cool. Tutorial. So um, thank you again. Uh, remember to uh, visit uh, strevival.com for anything ST. Uh, we love you, Kuropi. And uh, I know that uh, this interview will most likely be posted there at some point as well. So cool. again, thank you for coming in. All right, and, no uh, problem, man. And so hanging out. Cool place Until to go next here. time.